Come in. Hi there. I'm Polly. And your door says something about a polymer? Can you tell me what that is? Oh yes, where are my manners? I am a polymer, and my name is Edgar Allan Polymer. But you can just call me Edgar. So, just what exactly is a polymer? Basically, polymers are really large molecules made up of repeating units of monomers. Well, what's a monomer? A monomer is a smaller molecule that is the building block of a polymer. See, the word polymer is derived from Greek, where poly means many, and mers was originally meros, which means parts. So in the simplest way, polymers have many parts, and those parts are called monomers. Oh, I see. Actually, just stick around, and you'll be able to understand even better. I'm throwing a polymer party. Oh, uh, hello! Anybody home? Oh, yes, sir. This party is just getting started. Polly, this is Cellulose. Cellulose, this is Polly. Hi, Cellulose. Are you a polymer, too? Hi there, Polly. And indeed, I am. So if you're a polymer, what are your monomers made of? My monomers are made up of glucose. I make up nearly 33% of all plant matter. And if it wasn't for me, all paper products would have had a rough time getting started. Ha! <laughs> I had no idea that polymers are so practical. Well, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Look, that's rubber coming in right now. Hey, hey, hey! What's up, y'all? Not much, rubber. Rubber, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Hi, I'm Polly. I never knew rubber was a polymer. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Rubber. Ho, ho, ho! I'd love to. My tiny bits are made up of a monomer called isoprene. My monomers and I make up tires, clothing, toys, adhesives. You name it. Rubber and cellulose here are examples of naturally occurring polymers. Some of our friends were made in labs and are referred to as synthetic polymers, but others prefer to call them by their nickname, plastics. In fact, here come polystyrene and polyester, both great examples of synthetic polymers. Hey, I was just talking about you guys. Polly, this is polystyrene, and she's a great invention of modern times. Oh, Edgar, quit flattening little old me. I'm just a common plastic is all. Don't be modest. Polystyrene here is made up of styrene monomers, and she's behind many of the convenient plastics that we see in everyday life, like fast food containers and even DVD cases. She can also be converted into styrofoam to make disposable goods and packing material. Hey, polystyrene, you're looking good for your age. Not all of us could last hundreds of years looking as elegant as yourself. Wait, how old are you? You look so young. Oh, thanks, honey. You're sweet, but, um, it's not exactly something I'm proud of. Because my structure's not easily broken down. It's actually one of the reasons why landfills are filling up quicker nowadays. I prefer it when people recycle me. That way my body can take on new forms and I don't end up being <laughs> forgotten in landfills. Sometimes I'm jealous of the natural polymers who don't have the same problem. They break down so much more rapidly than us plastics do. Ah, I see. I'll definitely make sure to recycle you then, Polystyrene. Thank you so much, Polly. So understanding. But enough about me. My partner, Polyester, is a hoot. He's the one behind all those crazy disco clothings in the 70s. Heck yeah. I'll show you guys a good time. Polyester clothing isn't as big as it used to be, but there are plenty of blends out there now. In fact, one of the first commercially successful polymers is my colleague Nylon, who is also in the clothing industry. Nylon, where you at? Hi, Nylon. I think I've actually heard of you before. I wouldn't be surprised. Millions of working women put me on and take me off every day. But seriously speaking, I'm a bit more complex. Instead of just being made up of one monomer, I am made up of two alternating monomers, diamine and diacid. Are you known for anything other than ladies' stockings, though? Of course. I said I was complex, didn't I? I also known for my work in bridal veils, carpets, parachutes, tents, ropes, and ponchos. This is just my preferred form. It makes me feel mysterious. I see. No wonder you're so successful. You're so useful. Thank you, darling. Attention, everyone. It's time for the polymer parade. Wait, but I'm not a polymer. 
Can I still be in the parade with you guys? My pleasant Polly, why of course you're part polymer. Your very own DNA, the blueprint of your being, is, of course, a polymer. Your monomers are the four nucleotides, adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. Two strands of DNA intertwined to form that familiar double helix that was first articulated by Watson and Crick. Even further, enzymes are found in all of your cells and are responsible for making sure the right reactions happen at the right time. Enzymes are actually proteins, and they are made up of monomers called amino acids. Wow, I had no idea that polymers were so prevalent in my life. And the fact that I'm made up of them too, it's just so mind-blowing. We have all found that the key to understanding more about ourselves comes from knowing what we're made of. But yes, you are indeed part polymer. Let us start our polymer parade.